Welcome back to the third part. Okay, now that we've taken care of reset, let's take care of this combo box. So when we select anything here, we want it to populate all of these other widgets. So I'm going to exit out. So let's come right underneath here. Where is my function? Right here. Okay, let's create a function in here. I want to first of all copy this and just paste it right underneath here. I want to make a couple of those though. All right, so this is going to be for, I think I'm going to call it course. Course data. There we go. And we're going to name function as cause data as well let's make sure we get this right here okay that's fine now come right down here and I'm going to enter def let's see that cause data tall let's copy that copy again and paste it right here there cause data there and as for cause data, I'm going to end up using an if statement. Okay, the variable declare is uh, now is called cause. So I'm going to say if cause is not a cause data, if cause dot get equals equals BSC, that's one of the names in this serious game. There we go. Enter. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, if is equals equals serious game, you can also use single quote in here. The choice is yours. Either double or single. Okay, in that case, I want self dot. Cost code. There we go. Dot set. And what is it setting? It's going to be setting the cost code BSC SG. SG will be serious game. Okay, we have to put that in a quote. And here as well. There we go. So that's the data that goes in there. Then the other one is dot faculty dot set and what is the faculty name? I'm going to call that school of computing. Or school. Yeah, that's my school of computer science. There we go. Then the other one is self dot. I have faculty already, so let's say the dean of the faculty dean dot set, and let's give that a name. I can call it Professor Tony Montana. There we go. Now, self dot head of school dot set, and who would the head of school be? We can call it Dr. Dr. Sonny Sonny Jonathan. All right. Self dot have a program. Let's a program leader. Program leader dot set. And who would that be? Ah, uh, we can make it Doctor Sammy Jones. What about the course leader dot Cost tutor, let's say cost tutor. Dot set. There we go. And cost tutor, we can just 
call that Dr. Paul Parker. Dot Paul Parker. There. Now the block. We need a block now. So the block is going to be. Let's come down here and just say self dot block. Or building the building building dot set we're gonna call that bishop's house bishops shops bishop's house and that is it I'm now going to call this let me grab this very very function but since I'm going to be calling it inside my combo box, then I will need to enter events. So it's going to be able to be called using an event. So let's come into my function here. Where is that? Um, I need a combo box here. The combo box that is called as parent. Let's come in here. The other one. There we go. Right here. So right underneath here, I'm going to put a comma. And then call that is it so let's try it out run and see how that's going to look like all right grab this and there let's see if nothing happens let's see what happened what went wrong did I call the right okay let's see BSC course is not defined let's say course is not defined That's strange that is it right there okay it's meant to be self dot course and what did i call in there let's go back in here right up here somewhere that is my okay those are variables right here oh look at that self dot okay hopefully that should take care of that self dot course so let's try it out out again run okay grab that there that's fine so i'm now going to copy that across and use it for the other okay the other argument in there so all right so let's just copy now copy this i'm going to change that to else if or well, you can still use if statement anyway there and that is going to be else if right so the other course is known as BSE Computer Science. So grab that, copy and paste it right here. There we go. And the course code will become CS. Take that off. CS01. And the School of Computing, the same professor. What about the course tutor? We can change the course tutor. I'm going to change the program leader for this to Helen. Helen Frog now. There we go. And what about? Okay, we can leave the rest. Cost to talk can be the same. Now we can change the cost to us. So well. let's change that to Peter Pan, something like that. Pan. There. And let's run that and see. Make sure that is working. Then we just speed it up. Okay. Serious game. So take a good look at that. Now let's come in here. Change that to computer science. And that is it. Okay. 
So I'm going to speed that up for the other argument that we have in there. So we have about five more. So let's speed that up. I just copy and paste. Get that sorted. Copy and paste it all. Okay, guys, all taken care of. So have a good look at it. The first condition, second one. If the animation is selected, if information system is selected, BSC computing selected, BSC computer games if it's selected, and BSC computer animation. So let's run that. And you guys see how that works. And select. There we go. There. Okay, supposing if we select call selector, I expect everything to be cleared. So that is not good enough. So call selector, grab all of these. And then I'm going to just change things around here. In the case of course selector, that's no big deal. We just get rid of everything in there. So if course selector, course selector, then all of this becomes empty. That's all there is to that. Right, that's taken care of. There we go. So right click, let's run that again. And select any of these. There. Yeah. And cause select selectable. There we go. That's fine. Cause selectable. That is brilliant. All right. Okay, so let's do one more thing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a database. Okay, I'm going to open up my SQL. There we go. So I will select this very schema there. And in there, I'm just going to give that a name. I'm going to call it schools. There we go. Now let's click on apply. There. And click on apply again. That's finished. So let's come right here and look for these schools. Let's minimize this. And right there, there we go. I'm going to drop it down, right click on the table, and let's create new. And the name is going to be known as school. There. So you see this double headed arrow, drop it down. And in here, let's enter the very first column. So that's going to be student, all in lowercase, student ID. And here, the data type, I'm going to make that virtual let's enter about 20 in there and here primary key okay that's fine it's not going to be empty and it's going to be of unique value right underneath here i'm going to enter first name i'm going to need about 48 of that first name there sort name here address I'm going to now speed that up and get back to you guys shortly. And right there, guys, those are my okay, those are my columns. Okay. I have 48. You don't have to have 48 though. I just have 48. There we go. There. Alright, take a good look at it. Let's take it from the top again. From here. Let's take it up to email and bring it down here. All right. Then from parents down to faculty again. Then we have uh, from the dean of faculty, take it down to scholarship here. All right. Then we have BA up to the spreadsheet. So you guys can see that there then we have mass and that's all there is to it there we go so i'm going to click on apply so that is saved so minimize that i can exit out of here yeah now 
right underneath here let's create another let's do one thing first look let me show you guys this i'm going to run it so that you see what i'm talking about you see here when i click on student details there is nothing here so what i want to do is to add a tree view in here so i'm going to minimize that and my tree view let's place that tree view right underneath just beside the button so right underneath here come right down here there we go that's button there okay just above button okay so this is going to be tree view tree view there we go now with the tree view i'm going to create um frames i might as well just go right up there and copy those frames because they are very similar to what i want to use it for so let's grab this i'm going to grab this too copy and take it right down here where's tree view there we go free view paste them right in here paste now this one i'm going to change the name of this to top frame do whatever I've just done, paste it back. Top frame, and let's just say top frame 11. Okay, that is the name of that. Copy that. That's top frame 11 as well. And this is going to be top frame 12 and 12. So change that to 12. there we go all right everything is looking fine but let's change this we are change this to tab tab two frame yeah and the same thing is going to apply to the one right below that's going to be tab two frame there we go every other thing looks all right but this one let's change the height to about 60 and I'm going to make this rule equals zero, comma, column equals zero as well. There we go. Now the next one is going to be one. There. So this is one here. Rule is one. So that is fine. For the top frame okay right underneath since those two are created now i have two more frames okay those two frames are inside the second tab okay, if i run it now let's run it and be sure that they will appear inside the second tab come right here there we go one two brilliant so minimize that and right underneath here I am going to create, uh, let's say, a label. Paste this there. Okay, so let's create a label here. Uh, let's just copy. This should be a label here to copy. Right, copy this. So type in all over. Copy, bring it down. That label is going to be used as my title. Paste. There we go. And get it indented. This is title. We have another title here. And this very title is going to be right inside top frame 11. Copy that and paste that right here. Top frame 11. There we go. I'm going to change this. Let's get it parted because it's going to be alone. So we say about 160. Yeah, why not? And get it centered. Okay. That is fine. Get rid of all of this and get rid of this as well. So let's change that to student. 
to the details management system okay center student details manager system and the font size let's make that about 40 and that's all there is to that so let's see yeah i think that is fine hopefully there's no error i'm going to run it first then we will know if there's any error okay let's come right here there we go that's fine now right underneath let's create our tree view so tree view table itself or table whatever it's going to be called but this is it the tree view starts from here now tree view right underneath here paste okay this is tree view title right. let's change that name to title tree view title and this is tree view definition of tree view frames frail framework whatever framework all right then underneath here is going to be tree view table okay so come right down here for the tree view the first thing i'm going to do is i want to add uh, what's the name of it a scroll bar so let's say scroll yeah uh, let's say scroll is going to be comma x that's the for the x axis equals the widget is going to be scroll bar and this scroll bar is going to be a child of the top 12 top three uh, top frame 12 comma now let's say orientation or orient is going to be horizontal double click on that so that is the x axis taken care of what about the y axis i think i should do one for the y axis as well just in case if the data are too long y axis is going to be vertical vertical there we go all right so all of that is taken care of now right below it i'm going to create what i've called the table itself self dot university records that's what i'm going to call it equals ttk dot tree view and inside our very tree views it's going to be a child of top frame 12 and the height of it height i'm going to make that about 22 wrong spelling here should be a g height is 22 good what about column comma columns actually with an s columns and with the columns there we go the very first one is going to be student id okay id exactly what i have inside my database here right here the same spell and everything that's how i'm going to enter it but i'm just going instead of 48 i'm just going to enter about 15 comma the next one or 16 the next one is going to be first name so make sure when you guys are typing it out you don't change any data in here so surname there and let's just speed up the rest that is it all done so the next thing we now need to do is i'm going to round up this my yeah this very one let's come down here and get it parked dot park and that will be there's a side equals button there and what is and i also want you to fill it to the x so repeat the same thing for the y axis copy and paste this will be for y there in the case of y this will be y as well there we go 
So I have actually rendered up these uh, scroll bars. Now let's come right down here to start with our university details. So I'm going to grab that self.university underscore record. And the first one is going to be let's enter the heading. And the very first heading that will be the heading of the student ID. Grab the student ID, paste it right in there. And the student ID, comma, text equals student. Okay, well, I'm going to make that uppercase because that's just to display. There, there we go. That is the first one there. So we can copy this now and change it around for the first name and so on paste first name grab first name and paste it here that's the heading and heading as well here there surname grab another one it's a copy and paste it right there for surname do that again copy paste grab the store name and change it here so let's speed that up so all i'm doing is i'm just creating my heading for the columns now using all of these headings from my database so i'm going to speed that up all right that is it all done but we need to also ask the system to show the heading so we're gonna enter that in a, in an array show what do you want me to show i want you to show equals heading equals headings there we go so that takes care of that now all of these are headings we need to be able to define the size of a column and so on so i'm going to come down here let's define one together then we say dot column dot column the very first column is going to be for that student so let's grab that of students grab this paste it right in here student id and the student id let's enter with equals let's say about 17 there we go student id taken care of so we can copy that student id now copy and all right that is going to be for first name first name i'm going to make that about 90. yeah why not um surname here there 90 as well then the address enter address in here and let's make that about 200 there so i'm going to speed up the whole process and just repeating exactly the same thing okay well first thing first let's make it five in a row okay put one more here and i'm going to call this one postcode then I'll just copy and paste the rest. So this is postcode. The postcode 70. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'll copy and paste the rest now. Those are all my columns defined. Okay. Now let's round up this very column itself. I'm going to copy this. Come right down here. Paste. And that is going to be dot park and we say fill equals both side both comma then expand equals one there we go and i'm going to do one more thing because i'm going to at the end of the day i'm going to be using bind because one of them we will have to use an event so let's say button release that's going to be the event release minus one oh. so when i create 
the method then I'll call the method right in here so that is it for now so I'm gonna run and let's see how the table looks like hopefully there's no error there we go look at that it's taking shape that's good I like it all right so that's not too bad I think uh, let's come in here we still have to we still have to create the database though but for now let me just call it the end of the third part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly